taking action during advance ruling proceedings. Once a registered applicant has filed an application for advance ruling, the advance ruling proceedings get initiated to first admit or reject the filed application. The rejected application is closed, while the admitted application undergoes proceedings for disposal. In case of concurrence among the authority members, the authority issues order disposing the advance ruling application and in case of difference of opinion, the authority refers the application to the appellate authority for advance ruling. Each advance ruling application is organized into multiple tabs on the GST portal's case details screen. This video will show you how to file reply from the notices tab and file appeal or rectification applications if required from the orders tab. Let's get started. Log in to the GST portal and go to that particular application's case details screen. To file reply, go to the notices tab. Click the reply hyperlink. Reply application is displayed. These details are auto-populated. Click here to download and open the template for reply. Click enable editing and fill this template with the required information. Convert it to PDF and click choose file button to upload it. Next, upload supporting documents if required. This is not a mandatory field. Lastly, select Declaration checkbox and enter verification details. Designation or status and date gets auto-populated. Now that reply is complete, click Preview to download and view the details you have entered. Make sure all details are correctly filled. Make changes to the reply form if required and thereafter click Proceed to File. Click Proceed on this warning pop-up also and submit your reply. After successful submission, this acknowledgement page gets displayed with the generated reply reference number, which will be sent to your registered mobile and email ID as well. Click OK. And the GST system automatically directs you to the Replies tab where the reply you have filed is displayed in a table. Note that if now you go to the Notices tab, the Reply hyperlink will be disabled as you have already submitted reply to the notice. Let's now see how to file for rectification of an advance ruling order in case you observe any error apparent in the order. Go to the Orders tab and click the File Rectification hyperlink. These details are auto-populated. To complete the form and file it, follow the same procedure as you did for filing reply. Once the form is complete, preview and submit your application. After successful submission, this acknowledgement page gets displayed with the generated rectification reference number which will be sent to your registered mobile and email ID as well. Click OK and the GST system automatically directs you to the Rectifications tab where the rectification you have filed is displayed in a table. And note that the status of the ARN gets updated to Rectification Submitted. Next, let's see how to file an appeal in case you are aggrieved with an advance ruling order. On the Orders tab, click the File Appeal hyperlink. New application page is displayed where first you need to ensure sufficient amount is available in your electronic cash ledger to pay the applicable fee shown here. In case sufficient amount is not available, click Deposit to Cash Ledger button. Otherwise, click Create Application for Appeal button. Advanced Ruling Appeal application page is displayed. System auto-calculates the number of days delay in filing appeal from the date when Advanced Ruling order was passed by the authority. In case of delay, 
you are required to attach the details of condemnation of delay in the Upload Supporting Documents field. Next, enter the address details here. Let's select this checkbox to auto-populate it with the registered address. If you want a personal hearing, click Yes, otherwise click No. Then, follow the same procedure to submit your application as you did for filing reply or rectification. Click Proceed to File and submit your application as you did earlier. After successful submission, this acknowledgement page gets displayed with the generated ARN which will be sent to your registered mobile and email ID as well. Note the payment reference number which also gets generated when you file the application. You can now download this filed appeal application from here or click this link to go back to my applications page to search and view application status or open the application case details to take action in the subsequent proceedings. It's that simple.